So welcome to the channel. This week we'll be talking about our little light setup for the YouTube channel, which has changed again. So let's jump straight into it. Yo YouTube, it's future me. Well, I was editing the footage and yeah, the audio is pretty bad. I didn't attach a mic to the camera, which means that, well, it's the internal mic and there was nothing planned to actually record the, the, the whole thing. But I was like, yeah, I want to show the people that are uh, subscribers to the channel or are new here that it doesn't always have to be cut, cut, cut. It can also be something spontaneous, spontaneously. Uh, so you will see that the audio, you will hear, hear the lamp going, Z -z -z -z. it's hunting me, it's focusing on me because I'm moving and stuff. Uh, so that's internal noise from the camera. Keep that in mind while watching this and uh, yeah, enjoy. Hey YouTube, what's going on? So did some upgrades with lights. So I bought a continuous light, the Godox SL60W, which means that it is daylight balanced. It has no battery, so it plugs in with, with a power cord, which is pretty long and you can control the level of light coming out of the uh continuous strobe let's say on that i bought a big octa which is one meter 20 with a grid so at the moment i'm filming it with a grid to make sure that the light doesn't fall too much on the background but that it really falls on me and the issue we have at the moment is we got two lights in the background which are responsible for the light for the let's go with atmospheric light um, but the problem with that is that one of the lights, um, they don't give enough. So they're just normal light bulbs you can buy in the store, LED LEDs. So I'm hoping that I don't have any flickering going on. But one thing I have to change is I want to try with my Japanese LED panels I bought at Fotokina like a few years ago. I want to try if, if I can come up with them and make sure that if I use them, that I get more than enough light in the background. Because at the moment, you can see the little LED strip going on there, which is fine. It gives some sort of color in it. But like this part is pretty dark. So I want to make sure that this part gets a little bit more light. And the table, I'm not sure if I want to keep it or I, if I remove it when I'm recording. So let's try those things and let's see what it says. I'm just moving a little bit closer to the camera to make sure that everything works fine. I'm filming this by the way with the 1855 at 18 millimeters. Keep that in mind. So it's not with the big wide 12 millimeters. It's with the Samyang, which is manual focus. So I can't move. This is an automatic lens, so I can like move around and it should focus pretty quickly. If not, I will see it on the screen. So what I'm gonna do now is pack out my Japanese stuff or my Chinese stuff, whatever, put them in the background to put some lights on there. And then on top of that, I'm gonna make sure that maybe I put a color gel on it. Not sure about that. And then when that's done, we'll see what it says when we come back to you. So as it looks now, we've changed one of the lights on that side, uh, which gives us that really nice I always forget it's mirroring so it gives us that nice um, yeah details in the background so that's working fine now let's see when you see me looking up it's because I got a monitor on top of the Fuji X-T3 and I can see myself so I'm just checking to see if my environment around me is fine so let's see if we change the light in the back now it's set to somewhere around i think pretty yellowish if we change it to something like that looks pretty cool so it's set to not really blue not really yellow so somewhere in between now i'm gonna attach a gel to it and see if that's any better or not always gaffer tape foil really important when doing these things you cannot have enough of them is it better is it worse I kind of like the vibe because it's bluish and not so grayish. 
what do you think do you like it do you hate it now the sun is coming on in pretty hard so i'm gonna shut down the curtains from the door because we don't want any sunlight coming in we want to entirely create this artificial because we still live in belgium meaning we got clouds sun clouds sun so it keeps changing up so we want to make sure that we control the environment ourselves so that we're not really dependent on the things from weather and stuff so i want to control all lights you see now in this little segment and i want to make sure that i control them and not the environment controls them so again to the blue i'm gonna look up kind of like the vibe of it not sure if i'm actually in focus or not it seems to be that i'm in focus but i'm not sure left right left right so you see me when i turn that way like when i move a little bit to the front you can see this accent light changing up when i move to the back i still have it but it's less so that's one of the things so now we're using key light the godox sl60 w done then on that side we got just a normal light bulb bought in the action which is something like let's see if you can see it So I bought this one, which you can control by Wi-Fi. And since I'm connected with Google, I can do it like switch it on, switch it off, and it works fine. And then on that side, let's see if I can turn the camera a bit. So on that side, let's see. You can see this thingy, which is the Japanese panel. I will do some B-roll in it to make sure that we have all the things we need. So what I do notice is that I lose a lot of detail by just adding a gel in front of the continuous light, which is logical because gels have some sort of thickness and they reduce the amount of light getting out of it. So you lose some, F, some, some stops of light by attaching a gel to it. Now this is bluish, cyan. Let's give it a go and let's try orange to keep things interesting. Orange looks totally weird no not my thing i think it's because i don't think it i know it for sure we like the bluish more because it contrasts with our skin tones if we put orange in the back with orange in the front it's like with skin tones it's too much it's just too much the same so what i'm gonna do is replace this one again and then on that side i'm gonna try to switch over to another light the way we had on that side and i'm gonna put some magenta gel in it not sure if it will be cool but if we don't try we will never know so that's something to keep in mind just try some things out and see what you can come up with it might be yeah a task that is not really interesting but i like it if you just try some things out create some new things try some different angles and yeah just see what you can come up with so now it's up to changing another light so i'm gonna reattach the blue one put another one next to it which is pinkish and then we're gonna see what we have so back with duct tape and a pinkish gel so let's see what we can come up with it doesn't do a lot it gives us a little bit more toning in that side but it doesn't do a lot so what I'm gonna do is switch off the, that one and let's see what we can change. So this is also not my thing. I like it when it's just one even color apparently because now we got the bluish and the pinkish but when I move aside we don't have a lot of uh, yeah colors going on because it's gray and I think the purplish is a bit too dense so it doesn't get fully transferred onto the wall so let's try another color so now we got some more colors going on which is yeah I'm still not sure so do we keep it do we lose it let me know below in the comments because for me I think I personally liked it better when there was some sort of um, yeah just one unique color instead of the mixture of both and everything went dark again probably because i changed some things around so that's something i will have a look at now because 
What has changed? So, this is blue, blue, blue to the max. So, is it dark? Is it bright? I don't know. On my little screen, it looks nice, pretty contrasty, pretty cool. So, that's something. The shoulders, we have to keep an eye out on the shoulders because otherwise, I look like a potato bag. So, when we look at the screen like this, I don't want too much detail in there. I still want some detail in there. Oh, and we forgot the coffee table. So that's something I'm gonna move now. Is this or is this not better? I think so. We don't have too much distractions going on. So at the moment we've got a lot of lights. <laughs> in total we got one, two, three, four, five. I can count really well five lights so we've got five lights going on so we've got let's take everything back together again we've got Godox SL60 with the deep octa and a grid 1 meter 20 not a deep octa a normal octa on my left side we have one LED panel which is gelled cyan on my right side we have the same but on top of that, on my right side, you can see the, yeah, the normal light, the LED bulb, which is bluish, and uh, that's also enabled. And then also on the right side, another LED panel. And then in the back, that part has some sort of, it's an LED strip just attached to it. So yeah, and uh, I'm not sure if I still have details. On this side, I will have detail this side. I'm not just so sure about it um, because there's no light coming from here what I could do is like shift the bluish a little bit more my way so if I shift the bluish you can tell like this thingy is coming from the bluish LED now but I got some more detail on that side I think so which is not so bad so just testing some light setups for the YouTube for the you for the YouTube we call it the YouTube um, so yeah so we got one two three four five lights going on the more you angle the lights the, the lights the lights the lights which are aimed towards the background um, if you turn them more my way it's logical that i will get an accent light on my face now because i don't have any hair on top of my face we don't need any accent light on top because yeah it would just like be like a bowling ball just shine 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 we don't want that um, and i'm also not gonna wear a cap just to hide or just to use an accent light so for me this setup is perfect the only problem now is i'm sitting here and my computer is over there so when i will be recording some stuff i will have to look another way to make sure that everything works but this way i think it's pretty nice it looks pretty cool um so yeah that's about this my english is really good today so that's about it for today um yeah just me fuddling around with some lights for a youtube setup and this is just how you can go from a simple looking image to something more advanced with a little bit more depth in it now keep in mind you don't need those fancy lights even though the godox is not so expensive because i paid like 134 euros or something and people say like yeah you can hear the the wind the vent the, the ventilator or how do we call it uh making noise but all in all it's pretty nice now i'm also recording this with just my uh normal audio from the camera normally i use uh yeah i got some different ones i got the road uh, wife the road wireless and i got the video mic but because i was just experimenting with light i just thought like hey let's record this and let's see what comes out of it i'm also not wearing the right shirt and stuff but it's just to let you see that behind the scenes what's going on there and how we can 
uh, how we can play around with light and try some new things. So that's it for uh, this update, uh, you up update video vlog, however you want to call it. And uh, then I'll see you when I see you next time and it will be probably faster than just one month now because it's been uh, pretty long and it's time to start rolling out that YouTube channel. So uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button if you have something from this little video. And uh, thanks again and then uh, I'll see you when I see you. Ciao, ciao.